Hello guys, praise God for this another day na binigay niya sa atin, no? I thank again for that good night rest na binigay niya, no? So I praise God for that, no? Okay, so again, we're back to our devotional, no? Still, I'm using the Our Daily Bread devotional book. I hope your Bible is again ready as we read the scripture today. So, the scripture we're going to read is found in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. No? Hebrews chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. I hope. You are scanning your Bible this time as I do. No? So, maganda yung ano natin, yung devotional natin pag uh, you are looking into your Bible. Okay, so Hebrews 13 verses 1 to 3. Sabi niya dito, Hebrews 13. Okay. Keep on loving its other brothers as brothers. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For by so doing, some people are entertained angels without knowing it. No? Ganda, no? Kala mo, tao lang. Yun pala, angels na. Remember those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners. And those who are mistreated as if you yourself were suffering. No? Wala, no? Ganda ng word. So, our focus verse ngayon is not in Hebrews but in Galatians. No? Galatians 6.10 And uh, it says, Let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Okay. So, in our daily bread devotional book, ang title niya rito is, A Warm Welcome for All. Okay, basahin ko na. During a recent vacation, my wife and I visited a famous athletic complex. The gates were wide open and it appeared that we were welcome to visit. We enjoyed touring the grounds and admiring the well-manicured sports field. As we were about to leave, someone stopped us and coldly told us we were not supposed to be there. Suddenly, we were reminded that we are outsiders and it felt comfortable. <laughs> Sakit, no? Excited ka pa namang pumasang din. Yun pala yung comment niya. On that vacation, we also visited the church. Again, the doors were open, so we walked in. What a difference. Many people greeted us warmly and made us feel right at home. We walked out of the church service knowing we were welcome and accepted. Sadly, it isn't uncommon for outsiders to receive the unspoken message. You're not supposed to be here when they visited the church, but scripture calls to be hospitable, hospitable to all. Jesus said, we are to love our neighbors as ourselves, which surely means welcoming them into our lives and our churches. In Hebrews, we are reminded to show hospitality to strangers. Both Luke and Paul instruct us to show active love to people with social and physical needs. And among the body of believers, we have a special responsibility to show love. When we welcome all people openly and with Christ-like love, we reflect our Savior's love 
and compassion. So yun pala no, na dapat pala nating iano pala i uh, i welcome and treat those people na lumalapit sa atin. Dapat hindi natin sila i is na bin but instead we have to give love to them, no? Show our uh, love to them. Kasi nga kapon sabi niya di ba we need to become light that they may see that they may see good works in us so now this time the requirements is to share what is in us no? to welcome them in our life particularly in uh, a group of believers no yung sinabi niya dito sa galatians 6 10 let us do good to all people especially to those who belong to the family of believers. No? Kasi nga, uh, mas nagiging close tayo sa mga kapatiran natin sa fellowship natin. No? Kisa sa family natin. Kaya as mas possible, ito gagawin natin. No? Gagawin natin to. Okay. So, uh, yung excitement ba na excited ka nang gawin yan no? like that couple na excited sila pumasok sa isang field but yet they're not welcome ano kaya ang mangyari sa'yo if you're going to a fellowship and then hindi ka i-welcome <laughs> kawawa naman no parang uh, feeling mo unwanted ka doon but anyway if you're struggling with that no God is there welcoming you and I know God is happy of what you are doing because you decide to be uh, with fellowship with fellow believers no okay so pray na tayo guys no kasi ang promise ko ano lang eh short devotion lang to eh okay so let's pray Lord open our hearts to all people who enters our lives showing them christ-like love and godly hospitality help us to make everyone we need feel the warm welcome of jesus love amen so sana guys huh? uh, you are blessed with the word again na sinishare ko and help me pray na uh, mapatuloy talaga ang uh, ministry nito no i promise hindi masyadong mataas ang devotional every day but would only take us pinakamahaba na siguro yung 15 minutes no so when we practice hospitality we share god's goodness so yun lang guys god bless us all uh, may we be a blessing to others today. Yan lagi ang ano ko, prayer ko. No? We may be productive always, every day. So, God bless us and see you again tomorrow.